Fridays are awesome. Last day of the week to pretend that you love your job. Most people have elevated this pretense to an art form. I'm still working on it. Hey, Simran. Hey, Rahul. Listen, this is the last time, okay? You're gonna meet Neha tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the Union Building at the reception. I'm not telling you anything about her except that she's too good for you. Aren't all women too good for men? I don't have time for this. Have to run. She works with me, so don't ruin my reputation. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Bye. Hi, this is Rahul. How can I help you? I'm Shastri. And what's your plan for the weekend? No special plan, man. I mean, something is. Something is like a girl or a girl, maybe. Man, I don't know how to talk about her marriage. Then the auntie has the responsibility of your marriage to your friend Simran. And Simran is behind me. I'm going to go with Neha tomorrow morning. Simran will be tired in a few days. Let's go, let's do it. संडे को मिलते हैं जरूर। Hi Fad, up high. To the side. Down low. Oh, you got me. You're fast. You're a strong kid. Good job. You're gonna be a master someday. Hi. Thanks for watching. Hello. Oh, what's your name, by the way? Rahul. Thanks, Rahul. Hi, I'm Neha. Hi, I'm Rahul. I'm glad you made it. I was just about to give up. I'm so sorry I'm late. So, that wasn't your kid, huh? Oh, no, I was just watching him while the mom ran to the bathroom. Oh, that was so nice of you. Besides, you know I'm not married yet. So, where will the child come from? You know, children can be married without being married. They're doing some wonderful things outside of the institution of marriage these days. Even Bollywood has grown up. You might be right. Now you have to change the whole plan of my life. Let's talk about food and the whole plan of your life. I'm very hungry. Okay. Is there any place you like around here? Mm, anything except Indian. Are you leading the anti-Indian food crusade? There's no problem. Good food from me. Indian food from me, no one can make it. If you know it, you'll get to your house right now. We've got to meet you now. I don't know. Too soon. Oh, follow me. You're going to love this place. Okay. Go ahead. It's an Italian restaurant. So, what's your plan? Plan? What plan? Now you're saying you have to change the whole plan. I'm going to have a fun time. There's no plan for me. The only thing I want is a life that's not boring. Boring? How much that? You know, we like mango people. I'm not me. Just the machine on autopilot. Wake up, go to work, come home, eat, watch the news and pretend to care. Wake up and repeat. Meri Bacholo, how about yourself? I don't have any plan. I work in my mind. I'm just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sometimes looks could kill. Very funny. Speaking of funny, uh, have you seen any funny Bollywood movies recently? What makes you think I'm into Bollywood movies? I would think someone who brags about being the greatest Indian chef of mankind and womankind knows a bit or two about Bollywood. I just made that up. Are you a compulsive liar? Here we are. I knew what I was thinking. Delicious. But I had no idea what I was saying. I knew what she was saying, but I had no idea what she was thinking. This reminds me of that scene in Annie Hall where Woody Allen and Diane Keaton are on the balcony making small talk. You guys got lucky. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers to our first date. Yeah. About the um, cooking thing, I just made that up. 
बात ये है कि माई मॉम इज़ एन ऑसम कुक एंड नो इंडियन रेस्टोरेंट कैन मैच योर खाना सो वन एवर आई वन इंडियन फूड इट्स ओनली फोन कॉल वे तो हम जैसे बदनसीब क्या करें कोई बात नहीं चाहे तो मम्मी का फोन नंबर ले लो यू कैन कॉल इट जस्ट डोंट हर दैट आई गिव यू मे बी आई वुड बी मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन द डॉटर्स नंबर आई आस्किंग फॉर माई नंबर You're not a phone stalker, are you? That depends. This number looks strangely familiar for some reason. Has any other girl given you that number? Very funny. I'm hungry. I am. Oh. <laughs> डांस Cool. What kind of dance? Um, I really like Indian classical dance like Bharatanatyam, Kuchipudi, Kathak. What about you? Well, I know nothing about Bharatanatyam and Kuchipudi, but <laughs> I like to paint and read. What are you reading right now? Well, I just finished this book called Agony and Ecstasy. <coughs> You're right? Mhm. Sorry, just sorry, go on. And I just started reading a book called Lust for Life. What kind of books are these? What do you think? I don't know. How would I know? Well, the first one's a biography about Michelangelo, and the second one is about Vincent van Gogh. I definitely didn't think they were about famous artists. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you knew they were painters, else my reputation would be a bit questionable by now. It already is. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so wouldn't it be amazing if every girl had right next to her a cosmic teleprompter with text for the subtext? I feel like I ate too much. Oh, I think so too. You only eat half of your food. I was just agreeing with what you just said. So you think I ate too much? No, no. I'm really glad you liked it. The company was better than the food. Was? Is. One more thing. You whenever you like. You were saying something when the waiter came with the check. I forgot what I was going to say. It must not be important. Does Indian culture <laughs> frown upon kissing an Indian girl on the first date? I think the word is sanskar. I remember what I wanted to say. Maybe the rules apply only for Indians in India. What was it? You are ugly. Very ugly. That's all. I guess you're not going to call me then. <laughs> I'm very superficial. Now, ugliness is an eye of the beholder. <laughs> I must have ugly eyes, then. Just ugly? <laughs> Very ugly. And does this line work in Hindi as well? Is it working now? I guess we'll have to find out. Did you say something? No, I said nothing. I have to be home soon. Too late. This is it. Is it? It is. My car is right there. Okay. Bye. Bye, Rahul. So, 
Miss Simran. Do you like her? Who? My grandmother, who do you think? <laughs> oh, you mean Neha. I didn't know she was your grandmother. She's not my grandmother, you dumbass. Yeah, but that, do you like her? She's all right. Are you gonna call her? I don't know yet. Thoda soch na padega. It na bhi mat soch. Just looking at your face, I can see how restless you are. Seriously, call her and do not play any games. Thanks for the advice, mommy. See you, putter. Hey Shastri, what's up? Hey, up on Gujbi, nahi. Tu bata, what's up? Or, kaisi hai naya baabi? Ye baabi kaha se aaye? Arey, kya baat kar raha hai? Tu mere bhai jaisa hai. So, is she cool? She is cool. Magar ek problem hai yar. Kya problem hai yar? Mujhe bol. Main sab theek kar. Na sentir mat ban. Yar problem ye hai ki wo cool bhi hai. हॉट भी है यार अरे यार तेरी तो लॉटरी लग गई फोन किया उसको अभी नहीं विल कलर इन द इवनिंग कबीर ने कहा है कल करे सो आज कर आज करे सो अब भी मूड नहीं यार चले काम करते हैं यू गिव मी द फोन आई विल कॉल हर राइट नाउ हो सकता है भाभी की आवाज सुन के तेरा मूड ठीक हो जाए I got punked. Three two seven eight two seven nine. क्या हुआ? How did I fall for it? Signal problem है यार. Give me the number. I'll call her from my phone. Number has so much in common with yeah, ecstasy. Give me the phone. Three two seven eight two seven nine. Thank you for calling Ecstasy. <laughs> Got to admit that she does have a sense of humor. <laughs> Chal. Tera mood ka theek karne ka ek tarika hai. Mr. Jack and Mr. Coke. They have been uh, proven to work very well together in these situations. Not for me. Yaar. Tu nahi sudhega. Chal. Tere liye main hi pee lunga. See you dude. You again? I forgot my phone. Hi, I'm Shastri. Hi, I'm Simran. I've heard a lot about you. You have? Um, <laughs> I mean, I've heard a lot about you too. Oh. <laughs> Chal, I'm gonna go get some coffee. I'll see you later. Uh, I need some coffee. Uh, can I come with you? Jack and Coke ka kya hua bhai? Are? It's Sunday afternoon. I need some coffee. Tere ko koi problem hai? Go, go get your coffee. Chal, bye. See you. I always thought Monday mornings are ideal for breakups because both suck anyway. Only way it could get any better is if every boss in the whole world fell sick every Monday. Message one. Hey, Raho, this is Michael. Listen, I am sick today and can't make it to the office. If anybody needs something, cover for me, will you? Hey, take care. Message two. Hey Rahul, this is Neha. Let's say hypothetically, if I bet with you that you would have tried calling me yesterday, would I win or lose a bet? Hi Neha. Hi, who is this? Thank you for calling the Agony Helpline. <laughs> so I won. Hypothetically. How is your Monday going so far? Well, it was going nowhere till I lost. Maybe I could cheer you up. Maybe you could. How about you buy me a cup of coffee since you lost? <laughs> <laughs> 
Now? Now. Where are you? Come over to the front desk. An unexpected phone call can be priceless. Manager calling in sick only makes it better. What are you doing here? Stalking me? It's too soon to stalk. No, I was actually here for an office meeting with someone this morning. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought you came here to see me. Do you always get disappointed so easily? Come on, let's go get coffee. Hey! What's up, Dad? Hi, I'm Shastri. You must be Neha. Neha Bhabi. <laughs> yes, I've heard about you. I am. <laughs> Looks like someone was in agony on a Sunday. <laughs> Looks like a lot can happen over a cup of coffee, especially on a Sunday. Actually, we're about to go get coffee right now. You want to come? Sure, let's go. Mondays are great for new beginnings. 